Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are back with another episode of Gallery Sweep. So again, like last episode, uh, we did Neshoba Andrews. Um, the reason we did Neshoba specifically is because this month is Native American Heritage Month, so we will be continuing with another one of my Native American characters today, but I don't know how long he's going to take, so we're going to drop in and check on how like how much he needs, and then we'll figure out, because th with last episode with Neshoba, he didn't have that much to do. So we did like a little bit of, like we did a little bit of clearing the gallery, like going through deleting some people and stuff first, and then we jumped in and did Neshoba. So we might do that again today if um, Hoda, the guy we're going to work on today, doesn't need a lot of work. So um, if my gallery will load, <laughs> we can get down to him and start. Um... It's taking its time today. All right, here we are. So, uh, so here's Hoda, and let's go ahead and open him up and see just how much he's missing. Everything. <laughs> okay. So Hoda is probably gonna take a bit more work than Neshoba did, um, because Neshoba had a lot of his stuff still, but it looks like Hoda is pretty naked. Um, uh, let's check his other outfits. Okay. So Hoda literally has this one outfit and that's it. Um, everything else is gone. So we are going to have to do quite a bit of work on him. But um, I'm still going to go through and do a little bit of deleting first because I still I don't think it'll take me all that long. So uh, the first thing I want to do is get rid of these. Uh, these are for my scenario video. Every time I made a household, it saved them. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those guys. They're not important. And then we need to do the... Da, 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 da. Wow. We need to delete the old Neshoba because he's not, um, because we're done with him. So we can delete that one. And then if we go back to where we were last time. So I think the last time we stopped on Veda. Yes. Okay. We stopped on Veda. So uh, I'm just going to go through maybe like two rows just to keep it kind of short. Um, so Madeline, I'm pretty sure I want Madeline. I remember her being really cute. So um, I'm going to keep her. Genesis, I am not sure. I'm not sure what she looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and open her up and take a look at her. So Genesis is missing like everything, but it looks like she has a pretty decent face. Uh, let me see what she looks like without her skin details and her makeup. Yeah, so I think she's actually pretty cute. We can keep her. I think she's fine. We'll keep Genesis. Uh, Wesley. Uh, he looks all right. Let's see what he looks like without skin details. Yeah, I think Wesley's okay, too. We'll keep him. We've got Isco. Yeah, I think Isco's okay, too. I'm not really deleting anybody. <laughs> this is my problem. I don't really want to delete them. I'm like, oh, I can still work with them, so why not keep them, you know? Um, but I don't know. Maybe I should be deleting more. Because, like, will I ever play with these guys? That's the question. Maybe I should look into their traits a little bit more and see, like, would I ever actually play with these people? What, like, what were their stories? I don't want to get rid of them, you know? Like, they're all my babies. I made them. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of them. I like them all. Um, Aubrey. Yeah, I'm not actually a big fan of Aubrey. I think Aubrey's the first one we're going to get rid of. I don't really like her very much. Then Dominic. Let's open him up. Of course, I still have this shirt. I don't really like this shirt very much. I don't like the way it, like, I don't like the fact that the sleeves are buttoned like that they're close up because like the whole shirt is very loose looking and then the sleeves are buttoned it's just it's really weird it's a very awkward juxta juxtaposition and I don't really like it um so I would definitely change that shirt if I did him but otherwise I think Dominic looks pretty good so I think we'll be keeping him so this is like every once in a while I just go through and randomize sims until I get faces I like and then I'll just say, like, I don't really feel like doing anything with them at the moment, but I'm like, oh, I actually like this face. So I keep them because it's like, I could do something interesting with them. But, um, I kind of changed my mind. I don't really like her. I don't know why I saved her. Not a big fan of her. Oh, I know where these guys came from. These weren't randomized. These were all, um, children. These are children of my Sims. Um, well, maybe not my Sims, but other people's Sims, because Ella Zabie is actually someone else's Sim. Um, he's, oh God, what is his name? Ah, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> he was like, hold on, I'm going to open it up because he's someone else's Sim and I still have him in my gallery because I love him. He was like the husband of one of my Sims. Um, Seif, Seif Ella Zabie. Yes. So these ones were actually made from other people, from blending other people's Sims, I think. Uh, I have no idea who the mother was, but he was obviously the dad, but, um, I'm not actually a big fan of how she looks, so I'm going to delete her, 
then who's next okay so this it, this was mixing my sims and other people's sims because uh her last name was igwe which is my um sim zuri down here i can show you where is she here zuri so zuri igwe was her mom so yeah this was made from mixing my sims and other people's sims and wow i don't really like how she looks either why did i save these people like <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of either of those faces. Like, not even like, oh, they're a little weird, but I want to fix them, you know? Okay, he's also Zuri Igwe's kid, which is why he's so freaking tall. I feel like I could still do something with him. I don't mind him so much. Uh, let's see this next guy. Dos Santos. That must be someone else's sim. That's not my sim. I feel like he could go somewhere with a little bit of editing, but I'm not, like, super into it. And I'm going to get rid of him. I don't really like him either. Who's this one? Another De Los Santos. So I don't know who's. I can't remember whose that is. But again, she has sort of a really long face. But she looks nice from the front, but her profile is just a little. Ugh. But yeah, I can keep her because I can definitely do some editing on her and make her look the way I want. Then Jasmine Beckman. I'm pretty sure Beckman's someone else's sim as well. Okay, I need to remove your hair. I can't see your face. She's actually pretty cute. I like her. Yeah, we'll keep her. And then this last dude. God, why does he have cat ears? Why do you have cat ears? <laughs> I hate this hair so much. <laughs> why is it here? Um, I think I actually did something with him. Colby Langford. Did I make him at some point? Hold on, I gotta check my gallery real quick. Cause I think I did something with a Colby Langfield. Yeah, Colby Langford, right there. So I did end up using him at some point. Oh, he looks nothing like the original. So apparently, um, so we'll do we'll get rid of him as well, because we obviously have a different version of him, so um we don't need this one. So I'm only keeping three out of the original eight. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and save this as a new household. So they're going to get moved up, which is kind of annoying, but, um, whatever. It's no big deal. I'd like one where I can actually see them, you know? This is one thing about using custom poses. It's like when you have groups, it's so hard to get a picture with all of them in there because they're all trying to do poses. You know what? Two is fine. Two is enough. <laughs> it's fine. As long as I can see that there's multiple people. Okay. Then we can go down here and delete these guys because they're not necessary anymore bye bye okay uh colby i don't i'm actually gonna open him up and see how i edited him because like looking at th that original just now i didn't really like it that much so i'm wondering how he looks here Ooh, not a big fan of that nose um let's take off his skin details and get a look yeah i'm not really a fan like he looks okay from the front but again it's the, pro the profile i really don't like um i think i'm gonna get rid of him i don't think i really want him sorry colby you gotta go bye bye all right and i know i said i was gonna do two rows but i feel like i already took quite a bit of time doing this one so we're just gonna stop there and we're gonna go ahead and go down and work on hoda So again, he really does not have a lot. Um, and he was made from an ugly to beauty sim as well. So there might be some weirdness about his face I need to fix. Like, definitely not my favorite profile, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to edit some stuff. I need to fix his skin tone though. Um, let me pull it up. Because I need to try to get something similar to the skin tone. I have to like study it for a second. <laughs> Feel like I have to get it in my brain so I can figure out how to do this. Okay, I think maybe a little more brownish. No, that doesn't look great. Does that? Maybe? It's hard to pick out skin tones. No, it looks a little bit more like yellowish. Not yellow. Uh -huh. Mm, it's not quite right. I feel like this one's a really close, but it's not quite there. Ooh, that one might be 
Maybe lighten it up just a touch. Like right there, maybe? Does that look great? This is so annoying. I wish I could pull them up like side by side. But I only have one monitor, so I can't like do that. Um, I think that's pretty good. I think it's close enough. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that figured out, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and try to figure him out. So, yeah. All right, so uh, working on Hoda was a little bit interesting for me because, like, I didn't have to do that much to fix him. Like, he didn't really, like, I still really liked his face. There was only a little bit of editing I wanted to do. Uh, but for Hoda, he's actually supposed to be Lakota. Uh, that's the tribe he's supposed to hail from. And the reason I chose Lakota is because, um, uh, well, like, for last week when I was talking about Neshoba, I told you that I'm Choctaw. And that's, well, we think we're Choctaw. We're not entirely sure. We think we're Choctaw on my dad's side. But on my mom's side, we know that it's Sue. But Sue is, like, first of all, it's, like, a controversial name. So I know it's, like, not something you're supposed to be calling it. But, like, I don't know what that nation is called outside of that. But when I was doing my own research, it looked like there were three different tribes within the Sioux Nation, and that's Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota. So I just chose Lakota of the three uh, sort of randomly to use as sort of representation for that because, like, I wanted to do, like, I wanted to choose tribes that were somewhat connected to me because, like, I don't know, it's my sim, whatever. But um, I don't particularly know if I'm actually Lakota or not because the only thing we know about my relative who is native on my mom's side is that they're Sioux. But obviously, I don't know exactly what that means. They could be any of those three tribes or I could be totally wrong and my research could be bullshit and I could be completely wrong. So, <laughs> you don't know. But um, anyways, I had a lot of fun doing Hoda because like he didn't have like anything I mean he had like one outfit and then well technically two because he had a swimsuit but um he didn't really have anything so I pretty much got to make him over all by myself and like just re-choose his style and like I didn't really pick anything specific I just like I started scrolling through and then I saw that jacket for <laughs> sorry I saw that jacket for his first outfit and I was like yeah I like this this is what his vibe is gonna be and I don't know if, like, it carried across for everything, but I think it sort of works. So, um, I sort of like the way he turned out. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun because, like, something that I wanted to mention last time, but I didn't really have enough time to, is, like, it feels weird, um, doing native characters because, like, I want to do native characters because I'm technically part native, but, like, I feel weird calling myself native, especially since I don't, um, I don't have like any roots in the culture because I mean like we're not even sure what tribes my family's from so it's like how can you call yourself native when you don't even know that but I don't know it's just it feels weird to do that but I don't know doing it through sims and just like creating a character that's based off of these tribes that I believe I'm connected to is kind of fun and it's kind of an interesting thing to do so um like it's not something I'll do a lot and like I think I might do one more because Obviously, this is a whole month, and I only have three. I only have three. Um, I only have three households that I could use that I know I made as native. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do the last week in this. So I might do one more character. Um, so if you have any native tribes that you want me to sort of get inspiration from, and you'd like to see me create a character for, let me know because like I'd like to do one more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this, and Hoda's all done. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.